this episode of the Urban Guild Review Show. We have some trouble. I'm having real trouble. I'm having a lot of trouble. And, and I can... Dylan talks about grapes. I'm talking about real grapes. And Ben tells us to pay attention. Just shut up and listen. Let me get here. We go. All this and more when the Bourbon Guild review Angel's Envy 2018 Cask Strength. Hey Ben, do you want to do you want to take these broken wings? I do want to take those broken wings and learn to fly again, and, and learn so to free. live so free. Welcome to the Bourbon Guild Review Show. I'm Dutch. I'm Jules. Dylan. Ben Richards, the butcher of Bakersfield. And we have a box. Another box. Another box. What's in the box? Is that the mother box? Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> um, yes. All right, guys. So in this episode, we're going to be reviewing Angel's Envy Cask Strength, the 2018 release. Again? <laughs> Holy. <laughs> and and for, okay, for those of you that yeah. like our channel, you, you may have picked this up in the past that sometimes we review <laughs> things and we either don't get around to editing it or it's so crappy that we can't use it. And Angel's Envy has kind of been a sore point for us because we all, we reviewed... The regular Angel's yeah. Envy is one yes. of our first reviews, and we had issues with the camera. Like I think I was half off the screen the entire time. <laughs> yeah. So it's never going to see the light of day. Yeah. Uh, we've actually reviewed the 2017 Cask yep. Strength, and that one hasn't gotten out yet. So hopefully this one will come out, yeah. and maybe eventually we'll release the old ones. But um, either way, I mean, we generally have really liked Angel's Envy, despite the fact that it is a second maturation bourbon. In other words, it's a bourbon that they dump into... Other barrels and age, you know, a second time essentially. Yes, yeah. But the cask strength version comes out once a year, and it comes out in this in an awesome wooden box. But this year's wooden box, I mean, they took it above and beyond. Yeah. This is a it's thing amazing. of beauty. Yeah. It is a it thing of beauty. Amazing. I mean, it's you know, amazing. We got this engraving on the front, on the back. There's a pair of wings. You know, apropos, broken wings. Apropos for angels. Um, the the lid here on the front is actually attached via magnet, so it just kind of pops right off. That's like amazing. That? That's it's um, like wow. Apple designing a wooden box. Oh yeah, God, really? Yeah, baby. <laughs> um, and there's actually a, a little hanging hook here, so you can put a nail on the wall and yep. hang this oh, up. They thought of everything. Yep. Yeah. So pretty incredible. Um, just great design. Just yeah. beautiful. So I'm gonna pop this bottle out here, so we can talk a little bit about what's uh, what's inside of this. Oh, box. you're gonna break it. I didn't break it. Uh, okay. and I'm gonna get this off the camera here. Um, but a beautiful bottle. I mean, this is. It's very similar to the traditional Angel's Envy bottle. It's got this little kind of silver gray strip on the top. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the angel wings on the back, and it's got a little silver sticker down yeah, here. Yeah, that's different. Um, so a couple things to note about this. This is coming at us at 124 proof. All Jeez. right. Finally. Ooh, ooh, that's why it's called cask strength, guys. But it's lower um, than before. Lower than last year's. This mm. is the 2018 release, so that's, that's 62% that's alcohol. That's still high. Um, <laughs> so as it says right on the front, it's a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey finished in port wine barrels, and they mm. use uh, ruby, ruby port? Right? Yeah, the, the port barrels. Um, the little stat card on the side is telling us that this is batch number C7, and this is bottle number 2147. And um, on on the sticker, they actually have a little space for you to write the date that you uncorked it, if you want to keep track of it. Wow. Okay. Um, nice, awesome. nice little thought of everything. I always think it's, it's it's a pretty nice touch. So on the actual, on the label, it actually gives a little bit of information. It says... Um, it can take years for barrels of Angel's Envy to reach our cask strength standards, and only a handful of, are exceptional enough to make the cut. Mm. The lucky few are finished in port wine barrels for up to nine months, or as long as needed, uh, culminating in a whiskey that's both rare and worthy of envy. So, pretty awesome. Um, I believe this is non-chill filtered, because I know in the last release we could actually see a little bit of sediment yeah, in the sediment. bottle. Mm. Um, but the color is just absolutely oh, beautiful yeah. on this. This Amazing. bottle, Dude, absolutely really beautiful. nice. Yeah. Look at that. It's really become iconic, I think. I Dude. mean, it's one that you can notice on the shelf. Um, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to crack it open. Don, you got anything else? All right, for us? yeah. So I, I do want to mention that 
I, I, I don't think they are the first, but they really kind of brought into mainstream that second maturation. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I I think a lot of people didn't know about it in the beginning. Yeah. And then we were drinking it, and we were yeah. like, oh, man, we love it. And then we started to see it slowly come into bars, yeah. Yeah. and it just kind of became the standard. So really interesting to kind of live that. But this is um, Louisville Distilling Company, uh, 72 corn, 18 rye, 10 malted barley, um, finished in 60-gallon ruby port barrels made from French oak imported from Portugal. Um First age is up to about seven years. Second finish is anywhere between three to six months, but in the past it used to be a lot longer. It used to be around two years. Um, this, they say that um, they actually, the master distillers set aside barrels just for this release. So they picked the creme de la <laughs> wow, just what? It's a creme de la creme. Ben with a heavy pour. And, um, you know, they basically, they, uh, yeah. they, they pick the barrels the for this yeah best of the wow. best so i didn't mention uh, msrp you said yeah. it's around 200 is that right 200 dollars. and i think we scored this for 180 oh, all right so, yeah 180 100. uh by the way thank you bernadette from the the, the wine that is total store the totally US, awesome totally store awesome wine store of, yeah, of wine and other stuff um, uh for that thank you and we are big fans of them yeah of that store so yeah Hey, cool. well, let's get our scoring criteria. Yeah. Well, you guys dig in. Uh, if you're new to the Bourbon Guild, we have a 10-point grading system. We give <laughs> two points for aroma or the nose, three points for complexity, two points for drinkability, three points for uniqueness, and a bonus point for value. So for us, uh, we look at value in terms of its availability and price point. And uh, all kinds of noises. Holy shit. I don't know. Are oh. you are you noticing a difference between the previous year where the proof was a little higher versus now? I kind of am. And it's not what I would expect. It's really interesting. I do see a difference, though. Yeah. It's different. It's different. I actually tried the the last year's not too long ago. <clears throat> I'm having real trouble I'm with the other I'm having a lot of trouble. Yeah, me too. And, and I can they, explain they, it in one word. Man, the, the color is beautiful, though. Yeah, too bad color is not a category. It's, uh, you know... It's just like little rich reddish kind of hue. Is that like the Borg hue? <laughs> oh, wow. wow. That's deep wow. dive there. That was a deep cut. All right. I'm almost done with my score. Four I'm lights. <laughs> that, oh, four lights. <laughs> four lights. Wait, what is that from? Dharma. Oh, my God. And Jalad. Oh, yeah. At Tanagra. <laughs> God, when the West winds fell. When the walls <laughs> fell. Okay, guys, shut up. Well, you know what? I think my score might adjust as we talk about it, but I think I'm confident <laughs> in where. You're getting, where sloppy. I'm you're getting at. sloppy, man. Sorry, you're right. You passed sorry. awesome stage. You got a little plaid. Really? Uh, All right. Sorry. Okay, guys, ready to do this? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Who wants to go first? Let's go from the middle out. Let's do middle out compression. All right, Jules. Seven. Really interesting. Whoa, seriously? Yeah. Wow. Seven. All wow. right. All right, Dylan. Uh, I give it an 8.5. Hmm. All right. Seems about right. I give it a nine. Wow. wow. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to cheers you because we're close, close yeah. but I don't f***ing understand a seven at all. I'm, I'll tell you I am, why. It's weird. I am totally surprised because okay. I know. Yeah, me let's too. Hear it. Let's I know hear it. we reviewed, like I said, we've reviewed the original, I mean, the, the regular release. We reviewed last year's release of this. And I know for, I mean, I'm pretty certain I gave both of those much higher than this. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm certain you both did. There, there yeah, is something the, yeah. distinctly messy about this. I'd like one. to know yes. about this. Really? Yeah. In my okay. Book. Okay. So let me, let's, let's kick it off, obviously, with Aroma. I thought the aroma was the best thing about this. I gave it a 1.5. <laughs> so I gave it a 2. <laughs> I, got, I agree, and I gave it a 2. <laughs> well, but, but let me tell you why I was missing. I, I got fruit and oak. I could tell that there was fruit. I could tell there was a lot of oak, but I couldn't discern any individual fruit flavors out of it. It just kind of was like, bam, here's fruit and oak. And mm. that's it. There's like a block of it. Like, yeah, I, I couldn't parse it. Yeah, that's wrong, because I got grape. It was, it's grape forward. It's, it's both... And and I'm not talking about the grape that people eat at Costco or or you know whatever those places are. I'm talking about real grapes, like the ones that they you know that you can't eat the skin. 
you know, the ones that they make the wine. Oh, that's, wine grapes. Okay. Yeah, the wine grapes. That's the real grapes, not the genetically modified, you know, whatever. Okay. That, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, hang on. What did, what did you give it? I gave it a one out of two. And it was interesting wow. because you said something while we were tasting. And it's like, I think you said something like a word that you couldn't pin it. And anyway, like the word that immediately came to my mind was uninspired. Like I got a lot of woodiness, but then like nothing else, like no yeah. spice, no. Smell fruit. it again, man. It's great. I don't, I'm not Real getting great. it. And then I, I don't know. I, I don't know. No. I yeah. get a generic like fruit yeah. flavor. Yeah, it's and that's it. The fruit's definitely and there. That's it. Yeah, no, there's just can't, but I can't, can't pinpoint it. And yeah, and. And that's why. So. You gotta expand your horizons. Uh, Eat right. some real grape. All right, guys. Should we bend anything to add to that? Yeah. I get fruit. I get maraschino cherry. Mm. I get a little mint. Very I get sweetness. a little spice. I like this. Very sweet. But I get a caramel. And you know what's mm. funny is I don't get a lot of the roast, the the toasted marshmallow caramel like you like a, you'd associate with a mature bourbon. Yeah. Mm. And I think that's the second well, that's, maturation. I think the yeah, that's just the kind fourth. of overwhelms all a There's bit. a lot all of, the, of like sweet yeah. fruit. All of the um, sweet is in the fruit category. It's like a candied like, fruit. Right. And there's a little bit of caramel in it, but not much. I think. But I, I gave it a two because I got spice. I got sweet. I got layers. Like I. Mm. I the nose. I don't agree. Yeah, it's just yes. the nose, right, yeah. guys? Okay. I, I, I am talking 100% aroma, okay. and, and I got I, I, my nose was full. I think this could go badly if the second maturation was pl uh, uh, left in there too long. For sure. So For sure. I think I think they did it right, and I think the balance is there. Okay. I think there's a well, good let's, balance. Let's keep going. Yeah. Let's keep going. Let's jump into complexity. Um, I mean, it, to me, it was just the messiness. I gave it a two because <laughs> yeah. there's Same. a lot going on here. Too. A lot going on, but I had a really, really hard time teasing out individual flavors. Mm. Yeah, it, but, but I could tell like here's it's like it's like you ever like the music that's like hard limited. There's a wall of sound, but <laughs> you have a hard time picking out the three different guitars and the bass mm. and the keyboards because it's just like bam, it's in your face. Yeah, it's I, really I, loud. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh no. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Then uh, so here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Go ahead. Completely agree, and I think uh, the only thing I would add to that is I think the. Uh, what's sad is like the finish felt uninspired too. That's correct. And that's, that's, you know, that's and what I wanted to say. Yeah, and and that's why. So yeah, two out of three. So I, I think know. the messiness is in the finish for yeah. me. So mm -hmm. I, I when I, when I'm when I'm tasting it, I can pick out the flavors. Yeah. And then when it starts to get into that finish, something something yeah. some weird harshness Things starts to like yeah. overwhelm, and yeah. then it just kind of gets really messy. That yeah. that makes me like put the put the glass down, yeah. which is a weird. Situation, so I think I might. I'm gonna have to adjust some scores here. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, what, wait, hang on. What are you gonna adjust? I think his drinkability yeah. might go down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay, let's hear it. What did you give it for? for I agree. I gave it a two point five for complexity because I agree that I'm getting a lot. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting chocolate orange. I'm getting a little bit of caramel, a little bit of toasted oak, like a little bit, like a little bit of that yeah. first maturation and a little bit of that, you know, that burnt caramel. But then I'm getting that fruit on the top, which is the second maturation from the port. And I think there's, it's quite nuanced. Hmm. Where I agree with you, but I don't dock my complexity is the drinkability and the finish hmm. is really like, it's, it's leaving me a little wanting yeah. And it's mm -hmm. and it's not sticking with me the way I would like. So I'm gonna springboard into drinkability. I gave it a 1.5 because of exactly yeah. what you yeah. both were saying. Yeah. 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 I think this has a lot of flavors, and where I think there's a lot of complexity, yeah. I'm getting overwhelmed yeah. by some burn and some spice that you yeah. I think would normally love. But it's quite messy. honestly, yeah. it's, it's messy just, at there's, the end. there's something messy and that's not coming through in the finish. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I think what happened was the the second maturation kind of screwed it up a yeah. little bit. You yeah. think? I, I go back to my my. My analogy is like it's like a good song that's yeah. just been mixed too like or too loud. The end justice for all totally, album. Yeah. It's like end justice for all. It's, or, like, or a, more like, it's like a hundred uh, tie fighters. Yeah. <laughs> more like, of, more like more instead like, of like two. <laughs> so you mean the, the special edition? Yeah. More, more like this is the special yeah. edition. Right. Yeah. It's more like, it's so more like death magnetic, where it's just like the hard limiting was like. Mm. Yeah, it's or even Saint old, Anger, yeah. where it's all snare and no, and there's no yeah mid range. Yeah, it's just. I, I think we all we're all saying the same yeah. thing in a different way here. It's just interesting that we all agree on that kind of thing. I like that we equate the special edition with Saint Anger. <laughs> Or an injustice uh, for all. It's like, it's like, it's like Han Solo us. stepping on John. But you know, the THX VHS <laughs> version is pretty phenomenal. That's true. That's true. All right, that's, guys, yeah. but 
Okay, okay, okay. Next category, guys. Past that, yeah. Uniqueness. Um, despite all that, I mean, bottle, the box. Yeah. The, I mean, the fact that it's a cask strength with a second maturation, that's a two for me. There's two? Of, uh, what? I, but you say just all this two, and it's a two? a two for me. I, so, yeah, I, that's exactly well, it for 2.5. I mean, yeah, 2.5. So, 2. 5. You know, I mean, it's near perfect on that. Yeah, I, I mean, I think, I think... It's a magnetic box, guys. I, I mean, I mean the, you know, the, the problem is now I have to review this within the context of the the bourbon zeitgeist, right? right. And it, the zeitgeist is oh, man, in such a way... It, the second maturation has become yeah. kind of... It's the norm. Right. Yeah. So now it's not truly unique yeah. within that kind of... Right. Um, but it is a it is a cask strength, and you don't see a lot of those right. for a second maturation bourbon. So I'm, I'm so tempted unique. actually now to come up so with 0.5. I mean, just from that. You but know? like they do it every year, and I feel like it's been better in the past. It's been, There's been more unique yeah, flavors in the past. Yeah, that's a good argument. Just, no, but we've seen so many like port second maturation, sherry second maturation. No, you guys got to convince me on this. This is your Ben. Mm -hmm. Can I go? Yeah, yeah, please. Can I, you okay, go? okay. But Ben, convince me. What did you do? Kyle, shut up and listen. Let me get here. We go. <laughs> okay. Number we one, go. we've always. Wait, what's, well, your what's your score? score? I gave it a f three. <laughs> wow. wow. A three. Astute viewers. Three. A perfect. Tres. All right, let's Here's why. Tres leches. It's tres. <laughs> Trees? Give me a second. Okay, here we go. Twa. Astute viewers, we have always, and you haven't seen it because we botched the reviews or been lazy, but we've always <laughs> applauded Angel's Envy yes, for that yeah. second maturation and what they're doing. And right there, that's unique. These guys are the originators. These guys have been doing it for a while, and they make great stuff. We love the hell out of Angel's Envy, just normal Angel's Envy. Two... This is a yearly release, cask strength, cask strength. This is like your jam, and we love this stuff. Three, that box, that bottle, that yeah. labeling. I'm sorry. It is we, Yeah. I mean, look dude, at that. It's like the color of the liquid. Look too. at yeah. that. The, the color. Box. Yeah, you got to come, yeah. yeah. come on five. Not for nothing. Not for nothing, astute Originators. viewers. Yeah. This is some good friggin' juice. And I'll tell you right now, uniqueness Three from me all day long Man. in my book. I I'm going to come up with point five. Damn! Damn. Wow. Man, thank you. Man, <laughs> thank you. But you saw so, on the line like, with the originators, everyone else. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're right. No, you I, guys no, are it's absolutely it's true. You're right. right. You're right. There is a lot of second yeah. maturation stuff. One of my favorites, Rabbit Hole PX Sherry Cask. Same kind yeah. of difference, second maturation to add a little yeah. bit of flavor and nuance Everybody's and complexity. Doing it. No doubt. But I'll tell you what, these guys are doing yeah. it well, and this is an event. Yeah, I And yeah, regardless I of what we so, agree or disagree on during. Drinkability. I, I think I'm being a little bit tainted because I remember the, the last year, so 2017. Okay. And I, I don't. It would, be, it would be great to do a blind head to head. I think yeah. we should oh, do that. Let's do it. I know. Let's do it. Let's do it. For sure. We'll do that in the future, yeah. guys. Okay. So let's move on to the final category, bonus category for value. I just. $200 MSRP, I can't do it. Zero. Zero. So, settle. Settle. Zero. Sorry. Yep. Unanimity. Sorry, Angel. I love this stuff, but man. It's not a value, it's an event. And if you've got the money and you can find a bottle, sure, add it to your collection. This is but this totally basically, worth it. I mean, this is like their BTAC. Yes, you know, exactly. Hard to find, exactly. really expensive. I mean, granted, I found last year's twice at MSRP, so yeah. I, I kind of feel like, well... But yeah, like yeah, this yeah, isn't yeah, a yeah. this isn't pr price and availability. The price is high and availability you may not find it everywhere. But I will say yeah. I will say MSRP is higher than than the others. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's really sure. higher. Mm. But it's not but marked up. It's, it's not, not always marked up. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like it's a one-off. Mm. It's limited. It's it's expensive and it's not always available. It's a zero. But. Yeah. That doesn't mean you shouldn't friggin' buy it if you can find it and you can afford it for your bourbon or collection. Split it, or, or split it. Or split it. it. Right, right, right. Totally. And it's a beautiful... It's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, look great, at that great great bottle. Box. Look great at that box. bottle. Yeah. Look at that box and bottle. It's amazing. Just yeah. amazing. I mean, for sure. It's really cool. For sure. All right, guys. Let's sum it up here. Let's get our official Bourbon Guild score for Angel's Envy Cask Strength 2018. Ben? Nine. Dylan? I'm, I'm shocked at this eight. It feels a little low. That's... Jules. 
Photoshop 7.0 stuff. <laughs> Jesus. And, oh, I came up with 0.5. You did. I did. So that's yeah. a 7.5. <laughs> there you go. He threw you a bone. <laughs> hey, our, our official. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> official bourbon <laughs> so score. Bad. It didn't even make it to legendary. For Angel's oh. Envy Cask Strength 2018 version. 7.875. Not oh, legendary. Wow. Yeah, not legendary. Kind of kind of a shocker. Kind of a shocker. Kind of a kind of a kind of guys, I mean, the like, butcher is disappointed. I, I'm sh- I'm I'm shocked because I yeah. remember last year's and I definitely would rate it much higher than this. Yeah, I, yeah. I enjoyed it much more. We got to so. do a head to head. We got to do a head to head. Maybe I'm full of it. Okay. Yeah, maybe that, I'm full of it. That would definitely <laughs> call <laughs> us out on it. Statistically, we would basically get it wrong anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, we'll check us out. Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Are we full of it? <laughs> Let us know. Yes. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Hit that subscribe button for more videos from the Bourbon Guild. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, our website, and we have a Twitter channel now. We do. Yeah. We do. Whoa. Yeah, we do. All us. right. We're, We're growing, guys. Really? We're growing. Twitter. Bourbon Twitter. underscore Twitter. Guild. All right. Yeah. Tweet us. Hey, uh, this is expensive. 179 MSRP or 200, 200, 200 MSRP, MSRP. 180, bro. 200. Tip your bartenders. Find a pour of this. Drink it. Share it with them. This is great stuff. You really owe it to yourself to try it. Bourbon Guild out. Man, they're gonna charge $50. It's like Ben's not even on the show. Like, <laughs> this is. MSRB 175. What is that? What are we doing here? And he bought this. this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who you, you're. You Everybody, are. you need to you need to drink this Trader Joe's cast drink. <laughs> MSRB 39.26. <laughs> You're not Go the to your bar and pay You're not the veteran <laughs> married anymore. I don't know who you are. I'm sleeping with a stranger. I don't even know who I'm sitting next to. Sleeping with a stranger.